Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from the News Channel 3 helipad in the backyard in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with the latest edition of News Channel 3's astronomy blog, Skyblog 3. Taking a look around the Mid-South tonight, we've got some gorgeous conditions, a very beautiful sunset taking place behind me. And right back up that direction, you can see the planet Venus probably able to see Saturn briefly for just a little bit, but doubtful you're going to be seeing too much because it is getting a little bit closer to, again, the uh, sunset at this point in time, a little bit closer there, and you bar can barely see it. Mars up there as well, so something else to take a look at there. And also taking a look behind me, back toward the north and to the east, the almost full moon right now. That is not the supermoon, not tonight, but it will be coming up within about the course of the next couple of days. It's about 95% full right now, and we'll also be, again, looking at the potential for some good viewing conditions into tomorrow. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Either while for this evening, if you are going to be doing anything outdoors, looks pretty good, very quiet, very dry, and no major problems across the Mid-South. Likewise, on the satellite picture, showing, again, pretty quiet conditions for right now and doubtful we're going to be seeing too much of any problems with clouds just yet, but we do have some better chances of rainfall coming up into the near future. We'll talk about that in just a little while. The moon is in the northeast rising in the constellation of Pisces, and that's going to be pretty easily visible for the rest of the evening for tonight, and into tomorrow morning, you're going to be able to see the planet Jupiter rising in the constellation of Virgo right before sunrise. Decently brilliant, not quite as bright as Venus is for tonight, and of course for tonight, Venus very visible in the southwestern skies and going to be heading back on down into the area close to Saturn, very close to the horizon, and Mars is up there, but it's just not quite as bright for tonight. Satellite flyovers for tonight from the northwest to the northeast. Space station Tiangong-2, the Chinese space station, will be passing over the Mid-South just after 6 o'clock this evening, about 6.02, rising in the northwest, going just below the North Star and heading toward the northeastern horizon. Going to be fairly far away from the moon, and decently bright moon may pre prevent you from seeing anything in the way of this space station passing over, but at least a good opportunity there. That's about the brightest thing for tonight. That rocket body we talked about last night, barely visible out there. Tomorrow morning, a couple of visibilities. A rocket body will be passing through the area around the northeastern horizon, uh, heading back, or pardon me, northwestern horizon, heading on down to the southwestern horizon, passing very close to Orion and the constellation of Canis Major with a bright blue star Sirius there. You can also briefly see the OTV space plane very early tomorrow morning, pre-sunrise, as it goes from around about the North Star area back toward the northeastern horizon. And also another uh, shot of seeing Tiangong-1, that also out there into later on this, into the morning hours, uh, also pre-sunrise. So again, hopefully clear vis visibility conditions out there for that. Again, the supermoon is not tonight. It will be coming up within the course of the next day or so. It actually happens on Monday morning, the moon will be at its closest point to us about 7 to 8 o'clock mid south time. And that again will be the supermoon. It'll be most visible as we look into the area of tomorrow night. So if you want to take some pictures of the rising nearly full moon, it'll be very close to it as it rises tomorrow uh, evening just after sunset. And it will be also decently visible into the early morning hours as it sets right about the time News Channel 3 daybreak is on the air. So if you haven't had a chance to do some astrophotography, good opportunity to at least give that a try as you get into Monday morning and see the latest supermoon, the biggest supermoon that we have seen since the about 1948 or so, so it's going to be about 70 years since we've seen a supermoon this big. It will be noticeably be bigger, especially when it rises, so this will be the opportunity to see it into the course of the next couple of days. Either way, a beautiful night for getting out and doing some stargazing for this evening. It's a little chilly out here. Jacket or a coat would be a very good idea, but very dry and very clear across much of the Mid-South. And again, if you want to see the planets, Venus very brilliant tonight and Mars up to the upper area to the upper left of Venus as a slightly reddish star. You can see that up there. And of course, the moon is brilliant for tonight as well. You can see a little bit more about that. But the super moon not occurring tonight. That will be tomorrow night. Coming downtown to take a look and maybe a walk over Big River Crossing. It's a great evening for that. And strolling around the Mid-South, you will not need the umbrella tonight. We'll have more on the forecast coming up on News Channel 3 at 6 and 10 o'clock tonight, especially following NCAA football, which is
is wrapping up right now. Live from direct from the News Channel 3 backyard, a meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of News Channel 3's astronomy blog, Skyblog 3. Thanks for joining me, and no matter what you do with science or astronomy in the Mid-South or wherever, remember to keep looking up.